our One Million Minutes campaign to end loneliness is in full swing. And so far, over 36 and a half million minutes have been donated to charities that need your time. It's not about money, it's just about your time to help end loneliness. Well, Richard Arnold is in Weatherfield this morning. A very good morning to you. I was hoping you'd be wearing your big fur coat. Uh, but you're not a soft southerner after all. <laughs> I'll save that for the red uh, carpet, uh, uh, Ranvino. And of course, I'm in the warmest of company here. You'll recognise these faces. They need no introduction. We'll get round to this trio in just a moment. But yes, I'm opening up my little black book uh, this week, enlisting the help of my celebrity chums to boost those minutes for our campaign. And you'll have seen in recent weeks just how those minutes that you've already pledged have helped those people who are indeed lonely. And this is a bit of a first, actually, least of all with this trio, but we're at Weatherfield Precinct. But my campaign yeah. started, where else, but the Rovers. Just trying to find someone in Weatherfield who will scan my QR code. <laughs> I know where they're going to be. Maureen Lipman, Jenny McAlpine, compliments what? of the season. Hello. Look at you. come with a nice lolly. <laughs> Baby blue just for you. Fabulous. Weatherfield, of course, is never knowingly undersold at this time of year. Uh, what can we expect? Well, Tyrone in our house thinks it's a fabulous idea to plan a surprise wedding for Fizz without her having any knowledge of it. <laughs> I mean, what could go wrong? And Maureen, my love, will Evelyn be throwing her usual shade? No, I've been out the show for a couple of months, actually, so whether I come back or not is up for grabs. We're here, of course, in the Rovers' return for a very special reason, because you're kindly supporting our Million Minutes uh, campaign to raise minutes, not money, just yeah. minutes. Well, that's a great idea, to volunteer your time rather than your money. Mm. It's the same thing in the end, isn't it? Because we all understand about loneliness and Christmas. Being a new mum, it's hard going, so some of the causes that you're supporting, I know, mm. will, will really support like, young families, young mums. And it really is very easy to donate. Q, the QR look code. At that. Hang on. We don't just throw this together, Jen. If you oh, scan, look. you can what? donate your minutes. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, but I've never seen one on a bauble, though. <laughs> Thanks yeah. for noticing. I've been working out all year. <laughs> nice bauble, yeah. Nice, yeah. Very nice. Eyes bauble. where I can see them, Maureen. Eyes where I can see them. <laughs> Nice ball. Well, you can never hear that uh, too often at this uh, time of year. Thank you, Maureen, and thank you, Jenny, for donating uh, your time. Uh, Anthony, Susan, <laughs> haven't seen you since you've been down under, my love. I know. Oh, oh, <laughs> Gareth, we've never had the pleasure. It's lovely to see very, you. Very lovely Todd Eileen, of course, uh, and Sean. Let's start with you then, Anthony. Let's talk about the usual carnage on the cobbles uh, at Christmas. What's coming up in your house? Well, there's lots of drama going on, but we've got a, got, uh, Grimshaw's family Christmas, and it's a, a typical Grimshaw's storyline where it all starts off with the best of intentions, and it, it all starts off going according to plan, and then it all goes wrong. It all unravels And I'm blaming, he's not here, Tony Maudsley, who I call Rita Maudsley. Um, <laughs> Rita Maudsley, Tony's character, um, he, it's all his fault. We, we, he, he, him to blame. But it's very funny and it's a very typical Corrie, like, uh, you know, house on the street Christmas. Yeah. My soaps, and uh, uh, the same, they're like a lifeline for people in many respects uh, at any time of year, aren't they? I mean, my mum can't do without a dose of Corrie uh, mm. and Emma Dell. And, and Christmas, of course, is a worrying time for many, many people, is it, when it comes to loneliness, Gareth? Yeah, absolutely. I think it brings it into sharp focus, doesn't it? I think people are so used to uh, seeing their families at, at Christmas. Um, you know, COVID hit that a, a little bit anyway. Um, but equally, I think, you know, we're tending to li lead busier lives. It's more common that people live a lot further away from their families as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, I do think, and this cold weather as well. Um, yeah, indeed, it into indeed. Focus. Isolates a lot of people. Uh, so, Eileen, of course, she dragged up those boys on her own, didn't she? She dragged up those boys on her own, yeah. I mean, I think every one of us at some point has felt lonely. Yeah. Even if we are around a lot of people, you can still feel extremely isolated and extremely lonely. And obviously this time of year heightens it. And we forget, it's just a day, it's just a month, it will pass. But, you know, it's really great that this year 
Jimmy have got something in place for this. Yeah, indeed. And it's been so successful over the years, and it is just about pledging your time, and it can be as simple as a phone call, right, Anthony? Absolutely. And, you know, just going off what Sue's just said, there's it, the thing that pe can make people feel even more lonely at Christmas is because there's such pressure to have fun, especially the young people now. Um, this isn't just a thing that's associated with older people that are in the house on their own. It's young people can feel extremely isolated because, you know, social media makes people have these pretend lives and there's a hu huge pressure. Then at Christmas, how many presents you got? How many? How much fun you had? Where you got? How many people you yeah. saw? So it, it can be very, very isolating for younger people as well. And I work with veterans, as you know, and uh, and you can appear to be like you're in the jungle i've been there you can be with 12 people and still feel very very have your wobble and go mm. oh my god i don't feel like i can speak to anybody and it's um so it, it, from all walks of life you can feel like that and especially with my the stuff i do with veterans one in four homeless people are veterans which is a shocking statistic but um i'm very used to this subject and so i'm thrilled to be part of it and to be you know, on, on board with it. I, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a witchy to grub on the floor, and I'm not joking. <laughs> Did you? It's and little, it's really distracting me. <laughs> a little souvenir. <laughs> little souvenir from Sue brought all Where's the way it up. dropped out from? from I don't know. know. I think it's from a, your trouser leg. Do you know what? I, it's a very good point you make about <laughs> the optics. You know, in, in this business, we call show and stuff, but as yeah. you say, you can still feel lonely in a crowd. Isn't that right, now? Yeah, I think why, that's why the campaign's such a great one, really, is because I think, yeah, that feeling of loneliness is completely universal. And, um, you know, I think charities do still benefit most, I think, from, from money because, um, you know, you're giving it then to the, to, to the kind of um, specialists who can make sure that it's um, going to the places where it can make uh, the most good. But I think what's great about this campaign is that you've got this sense of I want to do something and that, that so many people feel. And, and that's what's great, actually, is that, you know, the, the website and things leads people towards ways that they can very actively help. And the most valuable thing you can give anybody is your time. Amen. Yeah, Amen. The time is priceless. Absolutely. And as I've said, we, over the last few weeks, we've been um, seeing um, firsthand how the minutes that GMD viewers have pledged over the last uh, six, seven years, how they have helped uh, people. So I'm going to ask you to pledge some time now, which is okay. a bit of a leap of faith, because normally, <laughs> Sue, I'm tapping you for cash. Well, that's true. Um, but <laughs> all we need is your time. So as you saw there with Maureen and Jenny. Steady on. Oh, we've got, got a phone I've got the ball. I've got a phone. Got a phone. It I really don't carry my that phone on simple. Set. I'm professional. You can scan me in a minute. It's very right. simple. Get a Involved at home, you can check the uh, uh, QR code at the bottom of the screen, or go to our website itv.com/forward/slash/million-minutes and donate your time. Very You're watching well done. Good Morning Britain.